Demon just got out of can. I gave my bro an advance. Love is just not in my plans. Not even taking a chance. Okay, so here with the legend Dr. Dean himself, one of the most hey, knowledgeable uh, person in the fitness industry when it comes to health. So he's going to run through the supplements you need to take to optimize your health and well-being, basically. So really, what we're looking at for general population, it all comes down to their diet. So are you eating a diet that's rich in polyphenols, you know, the flavonoids, antioxidants? That's going to help with cardiovascular disease risk reduction. Because obviously, what we want to prevent is LEL oxidation. So if LEL gets oxidized, it helps to form sticky plaque. So we want to make sure that people are taking high levels of antioxidants, so CoQ10, glutathione, especially older populations. Again, we need to consider our environment. Our environment is depleting antioxidants at a rapid rate. Pollution, you know, foods we're eating can have contaminants themselves, plastics, all these things have Heavy effect. metals and stuff. Yeah, heavy yeah. metals. Like heavy metals get excreted from our body with glutathione. So again, you can see how a person may get depleted. Painkillers, paracetamol, they include glutathione by 95%. Like that is a huge impact to your glutathione levels when it's trying to detox some of the other things. So general population, probably what I'd be looking at is a multi-mineral and multivitamin complex, which would have all the phosphorylated forms of B vitamins. So with supplement needs, I've developed a multivitamin multi-mineral, which has all these phosphorylated and activated vitamins that we need. We also have metal folate, which the body needs to help with DNA and cell repair. And if you look at all the other multivitamin multi-minerals, they use folic acids, which to be honest is very poor. It just blocks the receptor and doesn't have an effect. So we've come with metal folate to help with that. Again, it depends. Diet and activated B complex to help with your metal cobalamin, which is vitamin B12. You need that to help with neurotransmitter production. So again, an activated B complex may be beneficial because again, it plays off your folate. Potentially, sleep, if sleep hygiene is poor, what I put together is a sleep stack. Which so personally, that's made a massive difference to me. So I've told you before, like, I use an app called Sleep Cycle, and I can see that my sleep quality has improved 10% like, every day since using that. Yeah, and even with the Aura Ring, yeah, yeah. using the Aura Ring yeah. to track and sleep. The Sleep Stack is a combination product which aids in calming your brain down to help you fall asleep. It increases serotonin, which again makes you feel nice and relaxed at night, and then pushes that serotonin to melatonin to keep you asleep. So it may be useful again in older populations where their melatonin is declining yeah. or a person who isn't following correct lifestyle factors. So high stress. High stress, um, staying up later than normal, eating late at night. The sleep stack is pretty much well designed and will be to help with their sleep and recovery. Because again, if you have poor sleep, it impacts the next day's productivity. And then you can't recover and you can't train probably and you can't improve. Exactly. Yeah. So that would be the main areas, looking at you know antioxidants, making sure you're hitting your vitamin needs, glutathione, like I said. Would you add fish oils into that as well? I would. So I know you're obviously working on some new ones. Yeah, so with fish oils, there is beneficial resource which there. What we really want to look at is between three to four grams of EPA and DHA. Now if you look at a lot of the, the products on the market, you need to take quite a hefty dose of a product to hit that three to four grams of EPA and DHA. So, as you see recently, we've done some analytical work, and even like the top brand of fish oils, I'm not gonna mention names, wasn't able to bring down my omega-3 ratio. Because again, it's not just the fish oils that are important, it's the oxidation potential of the fish oil. Yeah. So if the beneficial omega-3 fatty acids get oxidized, they go rancid and are useless to our body. So again, we need to be critical with fish oils that we're taking high very quality. Much, high quality that is pretty much farmed and processed immediately to reduce that total, the total oxidation potential. They yeah, they're, they're the main areas to ensure that you're keeping on top. But again, blood work, like I always say, yeah. so critical. You don't know what you do, you're stabbing in the dark away. Yeah, even. Like... even Normal populations, athletes, blood work at least once per year. Athletes, anywhere between two, three, four times a year. 
every say every season just to keep on top of that everything is staying out yeah. and then making sure then that you have the correct knowledge to address. You can manage anything that comes up. Yeah, exactly. And it, it lets you see what your risk then is towards certain disease. Yeah. Where you have high cholesterol, you know, poor kidney function, yeah. high liver, enzymes, all that then you can take a proactive approach yeah. to keep yourself healthy. Yeah. It's not just about taking a pill or a, a supplement and, hope the best. and hoping yeah, yeah, that yeah. it keeps you living longer. It's getting data and then managing the data with the supplements. So. That's pretty much covered. So thank you very much, Dean. If you don't already uh, check out Dean, I'll put his Instagram in the summary below. Well worth following. He's also your highlights on Instagram has got pretty much an answer to anything in the world. So Yeah, and if, if people want to check out supplementleads.co.uk, yeah. that's where you're going to get as well, so. a lot of, of the supplements I've helped personally develop. So, so thanks very much. Thank you very much, Dean. Cheers. Cheers.